Welcome back to Melissa Hager TV. If you have not clicked that subscribe button, you better do that right now because there is so much more fun to be had on this channel. And I don't want you to miss out on a single bit of it. So you got to ring that bell too. Click that bell down there so that you get notified when we load new videos. We are about to embark on part two of a three-part interview with the beautiful, wonderful, inspirational moms of the Greta Van Fleet Boys. And if you are... Sitting still. <laughs> if you're sitting down, being calm, just having a nice old time, dinking around on YouTube, it's about to get wild. Karen is about to tell us a story about our Jakey <laughs> that is going to have you cracking up. Oh, my gosh. Make sure that you <laughs> turn up the volume for this one. You're going to enjoy this story. Enjoy part two. And like I said, make sure you subscribe so that you can get the rest of them. And if you haven't seen part one yet of this three-part series, check it out. Oh, golly, yeah. all of them. Such nice hair. I'm they like, have beautiful hair. They have way better all hair than I do. Have beautiful hair. How does that happen? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Very, very, very lucky. <laughs> did you guys cut their hair when they were kids? Did my you? husband did. Yeah. See, my yeah. husband's a little old fashioned too. He's like, boys have short haircuts, so I'm always chopping their hair off. And then yep. we watch the Greta, you know, music videos all the time on YouTube, and my boys are like, oh, maybe I should grow my hair out. I could be a rock star. I was like, hey, whatever. I don't. Yep. You know, who am well, I to you, say? And you don't usually see golfers <laughs> with long locks right, sticking right. out of their hats. Yeah. So yeah. that was definitely something a little different. Yeah. yeah but, right. you know, my husband was a coach and mm -hmm. he just let everything. Yeah. That's cool. You, That's cool. You look like you look. And yeah. And so with my it. boys, I hadn't thought about it. it was that, they, you know, they started coming up and, uh, you know, it's like, oh, I'll cut it sometime. I'll cut it sometime. Well, my my mother-in-law mm -hmm. took them and got Had their hair cut. cut. <laughs> And, uh, good old mother in law, yep. old grandma. Yep. <laughs> so that went there because they had this blonde curls. Just but you know, she, so she always took them and got their hair cut, and mm -hmm. it, was, it was always the like the military buzz cut. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, until gosh, Josh and Jake were like first or second grade when they were like, yeah, can I grow it out? And I'm like, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. We'll let grandma know. But, yeah, you yeah. know, you're gonna grow it out. <laughs> She's no gonna attack you with scissors. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but but my thought on hair, it's it is what it is, mm -hmm. and it's kids have so little control over their lives. Yeah, you go go to bed, eat lunch, eat dinner, mm -hmm. go to school, do your homework. You have to wash your do underwear. Do, 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 yes. do, do, yeah. Do, yeah, change your underwear. Yeah. So oh God. <laughs> that's a whole other thing. <laughs> so they have such a little control that as as long as they're you know if they want long hair and they're keeping it clean and yeah. they're they're respectful. That's the only time that. Kelly gave Jake a haircut. Uh oh. Jake started growing his hair long. Oh, wasn't washing That's it. Sassy. And, and he'd wear it. He'd wear it long and hold it over his face. Oh god. And then, in, and then in class, yeah. he'd, he'd like say things, and the teacher couldn't see. Uh -huh. So it was a big discussion on you have to be respectful, mm -hmm. or we'll cut it. You can't be sassy and mouthy mm -hmm. and. And so he he got better at school. He put it behind his ears, no problems at school. But then he started getting sassy at home. Ooh! And, and he said something to Kelly, and Kelly didn't like it. So oh my god, he it was so scissors. traumatic. He got out the shears. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even heard this story. And and and, and and he 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 escorted Jake to the back porch. Uh huh. <laughs> held him down and started oh shearing. My gosh. And, and he was screaming so loud. Oh my I gosh. grabbed all the other kids and went up to my bedroom <laughs> and turned on the, the radio. And he was like, look oh, how, God, my. Look at how all of us moms are laughing. We're just like, <laughs> my mom locked me in the car too all the time. I, no big deal. It's called discipline. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so we were going to Florida like the next week. And oh, Jake, no. Jake had this hack job of oh. haircut. <laughs> So then we got to we got to Florida and I'm like, well I'll fix it for you, honey. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I bet that was did you touch it? Did you touch? It wasn't even worse. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he was Poor traumatized. Oh. He was seven. He, he was se seven. he was seven. Cause, yeah, because we were seven when we, we have a therapist lined up for you. If you would like to call one eight hundred. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Poor Jake. The good news is it grew out. Yes, <laughs> it came back. Did it all comes back, story. and he, and he oh learned a valuable lesson. Yes, yeah, he, he never mouthed off to he Kelly never again. Off again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it took. 
Boy, no wonder. Man, I'd like to take him to a sheep farm sometime. <laughs> when them Kelly shears. <laughs> I think Jake would run if he heard that noise. <laughs> when them sheep shears turn on. <laughs> that, sorry, Jake. Uh, that's hilarious. Oh that's a, that's well, only, I mean, that's only every time we ever cut his hair. And, and then after that, and I'm like, he, he was like, can I have long hair again? I'm like, oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you want to grow it yeah. out and have long, that's fine. It's just <laughs> my cheeks hurt. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. That is funny. Well, Dan used to cut Daniel hair and they was like the bowl yeah right cut. around oh poor guy <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah no but my mother-in-law always she always did it she took him to the yeah. to the hairdresser mm-hmm. and had it had done cut. and then and she was on the same page as they got older that mm-hmm. you know the rule is if they right. can have it if they want to grow it out or whatever let them grow it yeah. oh gosh that's funny oh my <laughs> goodness <laughs> Wow. See, they did have, you know, every, it's, it's crazy when you are talking about, you know, anybody that's living in the spotlight, you know, you forget they had a a life before that. They had a life before that. That was a regular, you know, all American life really. And so I think people wonder that, like, did, you know, we've talked about that before that is like, did the boys just run around and they got to do whatever they wanted? You know, like it was, there, there was Things. There were rules. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, that is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> so the boys ended up all in a band together. And then how long were they around here before they took off? And five then they years. were gone. We were we were with we, them for five years. Yeah, so the, the the not the twins, the other two that are the same age were 12, 13 when Danny joined. Right. So they were 13, and then... Our rule was they had to graduate from high school. And 17 when they graduated. Yes. So... And did you see it in them when they were playing these little bars? Yes. Did you see the we did. spark we in them? We they had something. Without yeah. a doubt. Without a doubt. Every single time. We would not have gone through all of that. You, they would light up, the audience, and we'd walk into these bars, and we'd, we'd, we'd hear people away. going, what the hell? What is this? In sync? What yeah. are they? And all these little, like, mm-hmm. and these funny looks. Because they're young. Yeah. And then they'd get up there and they'd be ready to play and people would be going, blah, 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 blah. And they'd start playing. And all of a sudden, and, like, and it was my, became my favorite thing to just kind of stand in the back of the exactly. room and watch. Because people would be like talking and yeah, blah, 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 blah. And it'd be and, quiet and everyone would And then would all of a sudden, it, it'd be just, everybody would be looking up there with this look on their face. Wow. And then they'd, and then they'd get into it and they'd go, wow, this is, this is really great. And yeah. the boys just, you know, they always lit up when they played. That's very cool. They just yeah, loved, they did. They loved making music. They loved it. And whether there was two people in front of them, when sometimes we had... Mm-hmm. Sometimes two people we did. in front of us. Yeah. yeah, and that we were still. Well, hey, it always helps when up. your when your moms are the biggest part of the audience. Yeah, that's that's right. always. I, I try to drag my mom to as much stuff as I can. I'm like, you're sitting in the front. Yep, <laughs> and you better laugh really hard. Yep, we, please. We, yep. That got us some attention at the uh, at the Tonight Show. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, it did. We were a little loud. Karen and I were a little loud at the, in the crowd at the Tonight Show. Yeah. And Jimmy yeah. Fallon was standing right next to us and came out to the crowd. And he's like, so you guys have a big treat tonight. I've got Greta and Fleet. I've been wanting them here for so long. And you guys are going to meet them. And they're great. And she and I started screaming. And he's like, Whoa. yeah. And, and he's and like he just, right next to us. And he goes, Yeah, he was like, two these people like down. them. <laughs> and he looked at us. They're like, these, <laughs> these girls like them. We're like, and, and where are the moms? Yeah, he had this funny, <laughs> look, on his, and he funny went, look on his face. And I'm like, yeah. He went, mom. Yeah, he went. <laughs> like, he says, I'm sorry. You're the parents of Greta Van Fleet. Oh my God. And we're like, yeah. Aww. He talked to us for, for like, like a good minutes. two, yeah. three minutes Aww. in between there and yep. asked us all hugged kinds of us questions. And hugged asked us questions. Jimmy Cool. He's a cool guy. He a, yeah, he's a really uh, sweet guy. So that's awesome. I did not Genuine. realize he was such a big fan. That was like, on, we were so honored, Aww, floored, that's yeah. floored and honored that he was such a big fan of yeah. our boys. He was, when they were playing, he was just dancing in, I mean, you couldn't see him because yeah, they had the- Yeah, they had on them. They had on them. Oh, and I'm right. like, I wish people could see him dancing. He was he like, was, had his yeah, pencils was and pens and, and he was hitting everything and he was That's dancing. awesome. Yeah. I mean, cool. it was like chills and tears and it yeah. was like, wow. Wow. Yeah, that wow. was so cool. Well, speaking of big celebrities, also you guys got to meet Elton John. We did. Tell us about that. Well, let's talk about when they invited us. So the, That was cool. So the Oscars. This was mm-hmm. for the Oscars. Mm-hmm. Elton John always has an Oscar party, um, a viewing party, and a fundraiser. For his mm-hmm. AIDS benefit. For his AIDS yep. foundation. foundation. Um, and the boys, had, there was a table of 10. And so there's four boys and... Imagine four significant blah, 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 others, blah. right? Whatever it was, but they only had room for two people. Two so, empty seats. So, so we kind of knew that in advance. So we knew that it wasn't going to be us. We, we were I, Kelly and I were like, "Oh, you think it'll be you know Flam or mm-hmm. you know all these other people that are in their 
Mm -hmm. management group. And so we were away for a weekend with a bunch of people, and this was like a month away now, and we had not heard anything. And Karen and I are like, do you think we're going to go? Do you think we're going to go? Oh, it's getting so close, and blah, blah, blah. So we were all away. There was like 60 of us someplace, and the boys were like all in a huddle. And I saw them all in a huddle, and I'm like, that's really weird. And Karen and I were sitting down at a table, and then all of a sudden the boys came around behind us and out loud just said, Hey, attention, everybody. We want to ask our mom something. And here is us with these grins. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. what? What? Are we even thought? Are we going to get flowers? Yeah, what are we getting? I thought something big, and, you know, it happened. Yeah. And they're like, we want to invite you to go to Elton John. And we were like, well, and she Bye. got and she got it right away. I did. I and and was I'm just like, bawling. what? Yeah, I'm what? Like, Karen, I'm oh, and Lori was across from me, and I'm like, what? What, what happened? What they say? What they say? What they say? What crying? What crying? What? And then she's like. Uh, Elton John! And then, and then I went, oh! And we're just bawling, and the boys are hugging us and holding us. And, and that's actually on. Uh, somebody got a video of that. So yeah, I have pictures that of that. Out. Yeah, I have pictures of that. That yeah. was pretty special. Yeah. That is so sweet. We were like, and then all of a sudden I see my husband across the room, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, they had talked to the dads. Yeah, they had told They had them. talked to the dads. But I didn't know that. Explained. Yeah, I, yeah I just we didn't know it at the time. I horribly guilty that. Yeah, we were going and they weren't, and they were just as much a part of mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, this. I didn't feel guilty right away. I know. It wasn't until later that I went. Oh, <laughs> Laurie, I, I did. <laughs> You're such a good person, Laurie. <laughs> it, it, it took me a while to go. Oh, well, he starts. <laughs> oh, Kelly, did oh, you want to go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, my husband sees me crying across the room, <laughs> and he walks over, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have to tell him I'm going, and he's not. Oh my gosh, you know. And he's like, what's wrong? Are you okay? And and I said, we just got invited to yeah. Elton John, and he's like, oh, that's great. I'm like, really. Oh, yeah. so so the, my conversation was, Lori and I going to tell John. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, Yeah, the boys talked to us first. <laughs> and then I went. That's when I went. Oh, oh. now we can make you're not going. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, that was that was but, amazing. But then that even that event went to a new level that yeah. you weren't expecting yes. either. Correct. He, he was such a kind person to That's them. That's awesome. He just he completely wanted to showcase them and we were at we were at the rehearsal the day before and it was just so moving he made time to come down and talk to us yep. we mm -hmm. got a picture got i think that one with did him. go out mm -hmm. yep um, was, he gave us each kisses and yep. hugs and told us that our boys were wonderful thanked us. and thanked wow. us for having them and for being well, the kind of parent <clears throat> to let them get where they are i was afraid during the the rehearsal it was like you know no cameras no mm -hmm. video you know, and, and there was all kinds of security, yeah. and um, there were probably twenty or thirty people. people there, crew and people, and and us. And um, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get a chance to talk to him. And it was Mackenzie. I said to Mackenzie, I said, <clears throat> you know, I kind of wanted to talk to him and thank him for doing this for the boys. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to get a chance. She said, go up there. And I said, well, I don't think I can go up there. Look at look at all those people, and they're mm -hmm. like practicing. And she said, well, I'll go with you. Now, okay, so here's feisty little Mackenzie. It's like, huh? And we walked up to the the stage, and and we were almost there, and she let go of my hand, and I went, oh, I'm on my own. Yeah. And I saw this, and I saw this guy, and I'm I saw this own. guy come. This the, I could see this guy coming. coming from the side. And and then and then Sammy says, hey, 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 Elton, Elton, that's my mom. That's my mom. And, and and I thought he would just like lean over because I was over by the piano. I thought he'd just lean over and say hi, and I could say thanks so much. But he said, "Oh, just a second. And he stood up, walked, walked around, around came to the edge of the stage, put out his hands. Oh, yep. you know. And I said, "Thank you, thank you for giving this. This is yeah. a huge boost for them, and it's such an amazing thing you've done." And he, and said, he said, "I haven't seen talent like this he, in he, he twenty said, years." No, no, thank you. And I and I was like, and I, so it was one of those stupid things yeah. I hear, and I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. <laughs> this, is, this is huge. This is what yeah. you've done for them. No, no, thank you. No, 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 really. <laughs> this is, and and he's we're gripping Aww. our hands, and finally he leaned right, way into my face and said, "These boys make me happy." Mm -hmm. And I was just like, and the world happy. Okay, Aww. and that's just, just yeah. And then that was it. it just, wow. just that, just that. Right. These oh boys my gosh. make me happy. Yep. How incredible. They're change the world. Yeah. 
I that mean, is so cool. And he's still in contact with them. Sends them books on the road. Yeah, and that's cool. And that's went cool. to their shows in England. Yeah. And, and that was a very uh, big boost for them. It was. That yeah. was. I mean, that that led to the Bob Seger thing with them opening for Bob Seger. I mean, I don't know if, how directly related they were, but they they obviously through that interaction with Elton. You know, had some clout now. Like, hey, we have some, we have some people supporting yeah. us. Yeah. Like, get yeah. on yeah. board because that I, was huge, I, really. I, I, I really believe that they wouldn't be opening for some of the acts they've opened for. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't yeah. be getting phone calls from big acts that want them to open right. for them. That none of this would be if he hadn't legitimized them, right? By exactly. having them yeah. perform, yeah. And, 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 and then he actually with performed them. with them. Yeah, and he, I guess that's unusual. That was amazing. Yeah, that is unusual. Oh he yeah, there's do that not every video year. of Elton just performing with no, people. That's no, not. so and every every year that he theirs. has people come and play at this event. Mm-hmm. And he had to be someplace. He had to actually get on a plane after after they were done, and he up the time so that he made oh, sure wow. that he was able to play with them. Yeah, by you know like thirty minutes, and they picked one of their songs, one of his songs, and yeah. then he told Josh he was singing the first verse of Saturday Nights All Right for Fighting, and Josh was like, "I'm singing the first verse." I mean, he just Aww. showcased them. That's so you know, cool. Yeah. And that's stood so up cool. on his piano, yeah. and the crowd was, the, and even the people that had worked there for a long time said so they had never seen Ugh. a crowd. Man. Like this with yeah. the band before. Oh yeah, everybody Ever. just swarmed the stage. Everybody. It was like being at a concert. They said mm-hmm. usually they just sit in their seats because it's and the talk dining area. And, yeah. yeah, and when they're done eating, then they have these. So and then there's a bar tent this. out there, and and so people come. But once they started playing, the, like the, the bar tents emptied out. Everybody started coming in, and it just every, wow. it was just like a regular yeah. concert. It was, it was amazing. Crazy. We were on the side, and oh yeah, it, it was Chills. so it was super. super well, it's yeah. it's always been very impressive how the boys include you guys. In, in things. Is. And we're and, lucky. Yeah. You know, there's Very not a lot blessed. of rock stars out there that you see. They're like, oh, yeah, my mom's back there. Like, yeah. you know, so I just always, that fascinates me. I think that is so cool. And you make so many of us moms feel like there's hope for us. Ah! <laughs> yeah. We just always made it a family. I mean, the meetings were all of us. There yeah. was yeah. always a family, all yeah. of the discussions and well, I think, everything was. I think we, we did an all right job of not. Trying to conduct them, yeah. Not, you know. So we we guided them like when they were younger. We made sure that Michael mm-hmm. made sure that they were getting into these venues, mm-hmm. and the parents were there, and we were all on the same page. So we were guiding and protecting and, and mm-hmm. helping to steer, but it was always their voice. Yeah, Coming we don't out. want to do mm-hmm. uh, weddings. We don't want mm-hmm. to do right. They knew what these they things. Wanted. We want to. Do big shows. Mm-hmm. Well, you got to start here. You got to do the this. We got to get it get to Detroit. And Mike's strategy, you know, he had it all. We got mm-hmm. so we did all that guiding stuff, but we never, you know, and, and it released as they got older. You never put your thumb but, on but, them, but we right. never said no. You can't play that. That sounds like crap. Or right. mm-hmm. we let them be their artistic. Yep. It was selves. always very yep. even positive. if even if we went. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, song. <laughs> I don't, you know. they were gonna learn. Well, it's you know that's yep. their yeah. thing, and yeah. I, I think. As they got older, they appreciated and trusted mm-hmm. right. that we're going to look and listen and put our mm-hmm. two cents worth in mm-hmm. when we when it's needed. Think it's a danger there, you know, yeah. for their yeah. fair well being, mm-hmm. but that we weren't going to squash or encroach. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. I think that yeah. I think that's part of why they and they respect you guys for that. I yes. think, yeah. and you know, you guys know too. I'm for me, the older I get, now I have kids. I think of my mom so much. No, like no I go through things with my kids, and I'm like, oh, I did that to my mom. I, I can't, know. and I'll call her. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, like you, you. So as they get older, and even even more time, you know, will help that they'll they're gonna appreciate you guys so much more. And it's just so cool already to see all the things coming back to you guys and and yeah. it's sweet it is so sweet it's darling and yeah. they haven't changed they're, yeah. s- they're still the same yeah. that yeah. they were eight years ago yeah i mean they're yeah. just sweet loving they're everything now that they were then, then they haven't changed they're grounded yeah. so it's they say the, so the classic line is that money and fame will just make you more of what you already are and that's why when we see celebrities that take these big yeah. crash and burns because they got rich, they got famous, and they are a shitty person. They were a shitty yeah. person. Now they're a big shitty person. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good you know? way to put it. Yeah. So Good way to put it. I think that is why it's so easy for them. Their fan base is just yeah. growing by the millions 
because that it their their uh, spotlight is only exemplifying who they right. are already. Well, and they didn't make any. We didn't make a penny in, in the five years we right. took them mm-hmm. all yeah, over. Yeah, you're just whatever out there. money came in went back in. Right back in. The, mm-hmm. the boys never got literally oh, never got a penny right. in five years. Yeah, right. no. no, no. And see, people don't understand that either. Yeah. I uh, who was I talking to? We were talking about comedy, obviously, but um, like Melissa McCarthy, you know, she, they're producing, her and her husband produce their own movies. I mean, right. million dollar box office hits that yeah. are just, Melissa McCarthy did stand up and improv comedy for 15 years in little crappy bars in Ohio yeah. and Illinois. No one knew at all who she was. She's fallen on the stage, throwing herself around to be funny right. for 15 years, making 100 bucks here, right. 50 bucks there. And everybody's like, oh, look at just, she's so lucky. She just mm-hmm. got so famous. Yeah, she worked her butt off yes. to be there. Yeah. Like, no one gives that part yep. the credit, yep. you know? And so, so I do say that when, when people say, oh, it's so wonderful that, that you know, that blah, blah, blah. It's like they worked really hard. They mm-hmm. did. They did work. It didn't really just hard. happen. And, and and you know they played these gigs on weeknights, and you know your last sets at one twenty, and mm-hmm. then you have to unload and you have to drive yep. home. And if we're gonna do this, you're gonna get up and you're gonna go to school. You're going to and school. And these boys loaded their stuff, unloaded well, their stuff. We all did. Well, some of them we did. did more. Yeah, <laughs> we did more than they Danny did. and Sam were troopers. <laughs> yeah. Danny and Sam, every time I haul a PA in, I will think of you. And they will do it for you. Because sometimes I am grumbling, man. Every time I haul my fingers in, I'm just like, oh, oh can't gosh. somebody set the shit up for me? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's, nah, I'm going to think of you, Danny. That was yes. one of the favorite things uh. for them when they started getting crew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Whoa. It was my, a lot to set up. My, my buddy show. Jeff, no, he does sound for me sometimes at the bigger shows, and he knows how to set everything up. And sometimes I show up, and he's already doing it, and I'm I'm just like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I don't have to break a nail before I go on stage. This is amazing. Yeah. And then there's always technical difficulties. Yeah. And luckily, Kelly was just yep, Kelly awesome had the, with the technical. I yeah. mean, everyone just played a part, and there just yeah. wasn't anyone on top of each other or that's anyone great. doing more than the other. I mean, it was just, yeah. we were really, really, really blessed that we always said, thank God there was just two of us instead of like four families. Like, yeah, right. there were four families. Right. That would parents. be a yeah. lot. That might have been parents. difficult. That might have been really difficult. Yeah. You guys. But two sets of parents was pretty yeah. easy to handle. Yeah. Now, how, you know, they are touring a lot and they are killing it in, in doing all of these concerts. I mean, they, they still are working so hard. Yes. So the little tiny bit of time that you guys have with them, how do you guys divvy that up? Like, how do you not get jealous of their time? <laughs> How do you guys work through that? Do you do you Have go to them? that out yet? No, <laughs> but I can tell you the day after his open house, they left for Sweden with the struts. Mm-hmm. And he was like just gone. I mean, it was like he's they've hardly been home since yeah. then. And, and that was about three years ago. Um, so, you know, it was really difficult at first. And as time goes on and as long as they're well, happy. We, we kind of had to talk ourselves down. Yeah. And we would still get together mm-hmm. and go, oh, well, do you know? No, I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard. No, I don't know. I don't. You don't well, know what's going on. We had to know Why? everything. And Why we used to plan we? everything. Yeah. And Why aren't we nothing. there? We should be on the road with them. We should be on the road with them. Yeah, that's what was weird. And we felt like we need, we should have been there. Was, yeah. And, 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 like, oh, and so, okay. you know, it was like, okay, it's just like any other career, going off to college, going off to your, your trade school, going out after the world, whatever. You raise your kids. Yeah. To take on the world. But mm-hmm. I think secretly we thought we'd always be with them. So, yeah, well, I, <laughs> I think it never ended up. We were such we an integral part. It's I like, know. well, you can't do this without, you can't without us. us. Yeah. How, I mean, you know, yeah, Aaron, you it's this us. manager dude, he's a nice yeah. guy. We said, yeah. okay, we'll hire this manager dude. Yeah. But, that, like, you know, you can't do it without us. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Then he's like, but who's you know, gonna book the little crappy bars? <laughs> yeah. You need us. And he's got. He's like, no, our connections aren't worth anything. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's, he's like, part of the reason you hired me is because I have a team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we've got people that do this all the time that can do this. So you don't have to. That was hard. And he's so smart. He is. He's he, awesome. and, he, and we love him now. We got yes. you know, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. all come he's together, amazing. and we've gotten to know each. We loved him then too. Yes. But but it was still kind of like. Yeah, I'm still handing off your well, voice, right? To strangers, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for and they're sure. going all over the world, and but, right. they're not there. But and... ultimately, okay, we raised them mm-hmm. to go out and do what they're going to do. We, this is a natural process. It mm-hmm. happened to my parents, your parents, yes, like, all of us. Mm-hmm. Everybody had to let their kids mm-hmm. go. 
And but that first year was really hard, Ooh. and it was constantly going. Well, what about and why aren't they? And what's mm-hmm. going on here? And but and yeah, and they're in different countries. Yeah, different times. You, know, you can't just call them. Yeah, and boys, I have to say, are different than girls. Mm-hmm. My daughter and I can text every day. Yes. And boys that's don't, like normal boys. They don't care as much. They don't. No, they don't have mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. That no. And and they just don't have that. And I can't say all they, boys, but at least well, our when boys. they start getting super busy, they're getting texts from. All over. Yeah. I mean, they've got the label people. They've got the yeah. mm-hmm. the booking people, the William Morris people. They've got, they, they've got all these different people. I remember Sammy saying he had 250 unopened yeah. mm-hmm. on his phone. And I was like, I mean, it was just, I couldn't even believe it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. And he, cause you they're, prioritize they're so what's nice. most important. I mean, it just, it, it meant so much to me because Sam said to me, because if I open it, I want to respond. Aww. Yeah. And that, I mean, literally, I just had yeah. got, like, choked up because I'm like, that is so kind. Aww. Who would actually yeah. say, but I want to write back, mm-hmm. you know? So yeah. he doesn't want to open it until he has the time. And you just don't even realize how swamped, mm-hmm. you know, they had gotten. And So speaking of Sammy, I uh, recently, a month or two ago, because um, I, I told them all, I'm like, I don't care how many texts you're getting. If I text you, you should recognize it. You should have hearts and stars, and Mom! you know, you should have something that, that it admit, you should have a special tone that goes, eh, eh, eh. and and you should immediately at least give me a thumbs up or an okay or a smile. Uh-huh. So that you know, blah 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 blah. And so still, I text, and it's like, hey, okay, well, whatever. Okay. And, and it actually is if it's something urgent. I'll get hold of their manager. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And, and then you say, can find out right this away. This is urgent. And then he, they have meetings. So at least, yeah. and that way he's addressing them all at once. Yeah. So. But Sammy um, uh, fostered uh, two puppies. Aww. And um, I adapted one of them. Aww. So we're, you know, kind of trying to text back and forth. And he's mm-hmm. good. And, <laughs> and I said, oh, wow. Oh, he saw that I I called and left a message and he called right back. And I said, "Oh wow, you you, you actually called right back." <laughs> and he said, "Oh mom, you know I trained my phone. If you call or text, it flips and dances and, <laughs> <laughs> and screams your name." And I'm like, oh, "Automatic oh, redial, thank you. Thank Automatic you. redial." <laughs> yeah. Who, so who is the best at keeping in touch? Who does it the best? Oh man, did you see what we did there? What a cliffhanger! Who is the best at staying in touch? Make sure you tune in for part three coming at you again soon. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Ring that bell so you get notified when we have new videos loading. And if you have enjoyed laughing with these two great moms, please leave them a comment. I will do my best to get it to them. They are wonderful, amazing humans. And I think that the world is a brighter place because of them. Have an awesome day and we'll see you again soon.